Hello, I'm Steve. Welcome to the Patio Heat Channel, where we create visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for outdoor comfort. Our one-on-one -on -one customer support helps you make the best decision for your application. We strive to earn your business. Visit our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Now let's get heating. All right, here we have this residential application. So what this is here is it's actually a deck. There's a upper floor here that's being occupied for other uh, purposes, but the main thing they want to do is heat up this lower section here. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, overall dimensions first. So I have 19.7 by 15 deep. I've um, placed this uh, top beam here at um, seven, or excuse me, nine foot seven inches off the floor. These fans, uh, these circles here represent fans and they are at a five foot five diameter. I do have them um, measured in to a specific area that I had received as far as the placement as well as the placement from the edge of the wall here out to the center of the heater or center of the uh, fan itself. All right, let's go ahead and turn that off. Um, even though this is aluminum on top, I believe here, I believe this is a wooden structure up here. So we're gonna uh, utilize the clearances combustibles just to make sure that we are meeting those, um, those items. Um, when there is a heater up next to a aluminum surface and there's wood right behind it that is still considered combustible so we need to keep that in mind um, anything else so this is the main um, heating desired area so basically they'd like to watch um, uh, sports on the TV and they want to make sure that this area here is heated so that's what we're gonna work around alright and let's go ahead and look at the first option I have so the first option I have is to place two of the uh, slimline units. Now you can see I have them just um, suspended in midair. So you'd have to come up with some sort of bracket that maybe attaches here and then attached over here. Just maybe some unistrut or something of that nature that would support the heater. Heaters only weigh approximately 18 pounds, so they're fairly light and you can come up with all different types of um, mounting uh, based on what your configuration is. I know that the fans have a um, maybe a stud or a placement up here to support them, but that's not pre-built for the heaters, so you'd have to come up with something in order to accommodate that. Now, if you were to place the heaters over here, um, you would have to place them on the underside here because of the fact that this height is not high enough. So I need six inches of clearance above the heater because of the possibility of the combustible items right above the aluminum surface here. And so in any case, um, what I did is just place the heaters approximately, let's go from the center of the heater here to this edge here. And we're at two feet 10 off of that edge to the center of the heater. And that is gonna give us a really good um, footprint of heat. And speaking of that footprint of heat, and I'm going to actually go back one second here and just show you the clearances to combustibles. I am a, uh, approximately 18 inches off of the edge of the fan, so that won't be an issue. And I do have the actual fan at a sp specific dimension below the um, ceiling here. So 18 inches off of here, and um, that's the most important part that we're meeting those clearances over here. So. In any case, uh, let's go ahead and turn that off. And then let's go ahead and look at the footprint of heat. You can see with this, these two 4,000 watt units, we are getting just about a perfect coverage throughout the space for the seating area. So I think this would be the most ideal um, application here. Now, um, if you placed it over here, the angle would be this direction. The heat would be coming from your back most of the time and maybe you know your upper body will receive it but you're not going to get it on your the front edge of your chest or face um, anything that's in you know th these are light waves as the light travels through space it will absorb into any object either chairs tables floors or the human body and if it's coming from your backside i don't like the idea of it you know not giving you the best overall um, uniform comfort that this would give you so that's why I'm choosing this location. All right, let's go ahead and look at a different option here. And that option would be placing some units over here. Now, in order to get enough heat, um, you'd have to go with the highest 
uh, output heater. These would be CD6024, so 6000 watt, 240 volts. And just to go back here real quick, you know, these this dimension here is approximately five inches, where this height from edge to edge is approximately eight inches. So there is a difference on that, but this these do have two 3000 watt elements. And now let's go ahead and look at the output of heat. And I should mention that again, using the clearance combustibles, being that this um, aluminum top here is just underneath a wooden structure. I'm leaving this at 12 inches of clearance when it mounted on a um, vertical wall here like this. So just bear that in mind. And I have this out, I think, from straight out, roughly about a 25 degree tilt down. Uh, normally I'd go with the 30 degree, um, but it actually could go 20 degrees here. Um, but we are trying to get the rays out as far as possible. And as you can see here, this is a light wave. This is the ideal footprint of heat. This light does travel. You do not see this light wave. It's infrared. It, infrared light is invisible to the human eye, but it does continue to travel. However, I don't believe that the distance away from uh, the seating area is ideal for this um, pattern of uh, placement. And um, it would not be my first uh, option here. And this is go ahead and go back to the edge here, looking at the clearance to combustibles. So you can see that we still are meeting the clearance to combustibles with the fans. And um, so that should not be an issue at all. And by the way, the doors do swing in towards the inner part of the house. So it does not come out. So that's not an issue with the heater above the door. Now, if the door swung out, then this would be a fire hazard um, immediately. So. Um, just bear that in mind if you're watching this and you're wondering if that's a good idea for you. Um, but again, the, you know, the footprint of heat just isn't ideal for the seating location. So this is why this is not my favorite um, application. All right. Well, I hope this has helped. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you'd like us to review your plans, please send your information into designs at patioheat.com. I'm Steve, and please kindly tap that like button. We don't advertise, we're not monetized. YouTube does not promote us unless we receive your thumbs up. And in many cases, that is how you or others will find our channel and we can help you. Thank you and have an excellent day.